Remember when printers were used for normal things like resumes, documents and butt cheeks? Well, this is the future, pal, and it's crammed with vertical meat. Vertical meat? Pass the salt. Choice tenderloin steaks, boneless top sirloins. Ah, there's plenty of good eating on this table. Shut up, steak admiring man from an archival film. We don't need your choice cuts now, bro. This compact mechanised piping bag is here to squirt liquefied offal and mince right into your meat-loving mouth. The Dutch-designed Biflow 3D printer uses meat ink cartridges to print layer by gluggy layer pink swirls of reconstituted beef enjoyment. And Michael Lee of Meat and Livestock Australia loves the bloody thing to pieces. So today we often see around about a third of the animal goes into trimming. So with 3D printing, this could be an opportunity where those cuts are really high value opportunities for our farmers. In addition to beefing up our meat production industry, the malleable mints could also help those with chewing difficulties, like hospital patients and the elderly. <laughs> and the mix can also be combined with veggies, for those who could do with some. It's probably also great for adding meat diamantes, but we'll let Gaga blaze that trail. I never thought I'd be asking Cher to hold my meat purse. I believe we are going to see 3D printers in restaurants and households uh, in the future, just like we see microwaves. They're certainly coming. Hmm, seems confident, but I think it's worth noting these machines were not predicted by the Back to the Future movies, so, you know. Hydrate level four, please. <laughs> Look, I think there's an inevitability with this 3D printer meat that we're going to see more and more of it. There's a real question over the sustainability of where our food's coming from, so I'll try a 3D printer stick with a nice sauce. Yeah, look, questions I have, isn't all food already 3D? I've never heard of a two-dimensional taco. Are we concerned that meat could ultimately become self-aware and steal our jobs? And why can't we work out how to print things like a uh, lung? All that aside, would you give it a go? Yeah, thanks, Ray. It's still meat, isn't it? When meat ink. Yes, that's yeah. just a turkey baster, really. Yeah. <laughs> when, when they can make meat-free meat, I'll be really excited. Yes. That's got to be the next step. Come on. It just yeah. looks like it's been put in a food processor and piped through a piping bag. Yeah. Like, I'm well, sure I've eaten that at a restaurant before. Well, you've really undercut that story very well. No, no, no. I'm just saying that I thought when I first saw it that you were, they were going to be making meat yeah. from nothing. You know? I know, from like clothes yeah. or something. That would have been amazing. <laughs>